Hey guys, so uh, as you can see, we're online. Uh, we have moved house into a slightly more open kind of place. Uh, and as you can see, there's currently kind of three other people hanging around in the house with us. Um, but the only person with me on TeamSpeak is Danny. Hello. Uh, so first things first, this house is kind of just a temporary thing because it's less cramped than the old one. I'll just quickly show you the new house. Uh, now it is pretty awesome in my opinion and credit is very much to Elliot for this build it's pretty cool I plus box yeah but yeah, <laughs> like, I'm on about like the design it is pretty damn awesome uh, I'll just pop my jetpack on to get a better view of the top it's pretty pretty immense um, oh so yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. So I know that I said that we were going to make the sorting machine, but in the process of moving house, we managed to basically no longer have in our possession the parts for the sorting machine, which we did have before, which means that obviously we can't just place the parts again. But it was entirely our fault it wasn't like a bug or anything that caused us to lose the parts so we're gonna have to recraft them the problem being we haven't got the resources so instead this episode is still red power so it's not completely off track but instead it's the quarry which um, I can't really remember if I mentioned that we had a quarry but it's a frame quarry built with red power and wireless redstone that's the first aspect of it now this particular quarry we did have built already but due to a bug this disappeared so for this particular kind of sort of little episode or group of episodes where I'm building this with Danny's help um, I'm going to be using cheat mode and the reason I'm going to be using cheat mode is pure and simply because Oh, oh, Elliot randomly in my face there. Um, it's entirely because of the fact that um, it was a bug that cost us the items, so we're going to be spawning them back in to rebuild the same thing. Uh, this would be the same course of action for anyone who had the same experience, wouldn't it, Dan? Yeah, if it happened to anyone else yeah. on the server. Many times we have done, like, machines have disappeared for no good reason, things like that. Anything that isn't through their own fault, you know, anything that just happens kind of when a server restarts or totally inexplicably or as the result of someone else's actions which were a breach of rules we refund uh, if it was someone else's actions that weren't a breach of rules we just basically tell them to replace it because that's the good thing to do so yeah so it doesn't really matter where I build this because it's not a permanent structure so I'm going to use my favourite place for building anything, the roof of a house. Yeah. It's always a good place. So the first thing we're going to need is some frames. Now you just want regular old support frames and I'm just going to build sort of like maybe that many blocks into the air. And then what you need to create first of all, and this is going to be a very sort of step by step walkthrough kind of style, you need to create a 7x7. Seven seven. So. It needs to go through this way as well. So this initial 7x7 platform is kind of the top of the quarry, if you want to call it that. Well, it's the bottom of the top of the quarry, actually, to be more accurate. It's the top part of the quarry, but this is the base of the top part, because the way we build this quarry is divided into three sections, I believe, Dan. Is that right? Uh, two sections? Well... Yeah, yeah. Two, two, two different sections, but kind of three different movement parts, kind of thing. So, personally, the way I built the original design of this was facing eastward. So, the first thing is, I'm going to need, that was kind of pointless, just delete frames and then type frames again, that was clever. I'm going to need frame motors don't really need that anymore. I'm going to need 
panels, I'm going to need covers, I'm going to need back boxes. So I'll just use regular stone panel because that's what uh, it was built out of in the first place. So fair's fair, I'll use the exact same. Um, so obviously you need red power battery boxes as well. So when I started building this at about 5 o'clock in the morning one night, I kind of thought about how to modify the initial design of a similar quarry that we had. And I came to the conclusion that this was one of the best ways of doing it. Now, I'm, I'm sure there's other, well, I'm not sure there's other ways, I know full well there's other ways. Uh, one of our members, Dragon, he's built one, hasn't he? Yeah, he's built a really nicely compact yeah, one. It's a lot smaller and we will probably feature that in another episode but for what I want, this is the way to do it. So the first thing to do is these two outward frames here need to face away from the centre. So they point outwards. Now, I'll explain what these do in a minute. But first I need to position these. So they need, they need to face the arrows down underneath it. And then they point away also. I can tell you a little trick with this also. Um, if you look at the side of the block, yeah, you can see there's sort of a diagonal line going from left to right and down. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna go sort of the opposite way that's pointing. It's going to push whatever it's touching the opposite way to what that's pointing. That's how I go by it. So there's a bigger part of the semicircle showing in green the side it's going to basically send the frames or you can just look at the arrow but sometimes you can't always see it yeah when you're trying to build things really yeah. really compact for this build you can always see the arrow thankfully because I am not very good at that so this again wants to face outwards so basically what will happen is if you pulse this particular frame motor it'll drag the whole platform that direction there and the only bit that won't move is this particular frame motor which means when it's all moved the frame motor is going to end up here on this cover and then you pulse this frame motor which is pointing that way and the only thing it'll move and as you can see Danny's placing wireless receivers here all that will move then is that frame back into its original position so yeah that is how it works now we're gonna need some power in these bat bo battery boxes so would you fill some batteries up Danny if we've still got I don't know do we actually have uh, to fill up at the moment no well yeah do we have any batteries that's the question uh, there'll be some somewhere there's gotta be some somewhere okay. and they'll probably be in the end chest that was hooked up to the battery charger from the yeah, other that's, I've got it. Right, so anyway, before I can show you the wireless configuration, I'm just going to put some frames on the back. Now, the way I personally did this was I just put frames like this. Uh, you're just going to have to move, Danny. I'm trying to put frames there. Oh, okay. Now, the reason for this frame, and it needs repeating again on this side is basically if I'm going to send the quarry south for example everything will move south but the frame that makes it move north wouldn't actually be holding on to anything because the side with the arrow doesn't get pulled by frames it only moves frames so it needs to be held by a frame on a different face so that's the whole point of this it's to restrain the other one because originally when I built it I didn't put that on and I sent it south and the north motor ended up floating like off the side of the platform so it was obviously no use so while Danny's giving that power I'm just going to show you down here this is a bit of circuit which obviously it survived anyway because it wasn't on the quarry so it never disappeared now um, there's as you can see a grand total of six here north south east west up and down and basically if we just look at the north circuit for example 
you'll see there's a receiver, two transmitters and a delay. Now, if I show you my wireless remote, and we're looking at north, there's three here, the CD, which is Cal and Dan, because I'm Cal and that's Dan, so, and there's other people who've built, so we kind of gave them our initials. And then Plat North, which is the frame that moves the platform north. So if I just double click on that, the frequency is 118, which is this frequency here. So this transmitter will send a signal up to the north moving frame. Now, then there's also another two in here. There's North M, which is basically north manual, which means, for, well, I, I basically meant that one as the control one. So as you can see, that's 1020, which is this receiver. So when I pulse this, if you just watch, you can't see it very well, but if I pulse it for a little bit longer, it sends something through that transmitter, then it goes through this delayer here, or repeater, or whatever you feel like calling it, and then transmits something on 1019, which is the final one, which is CD Plat North R, which is reset. Also, for anyone who's following along, I think this thing is on four presses? Yeah, four clicks, yes, you click the delay four times to get it to that. Sorry, I should have probably mentioned that from the start. But so this tiny little four by two block of circuitry will allow you to move it entirely independently without the need to like press twice because otherwise you'd have to send a signal to this wait for it to move everything then send a signal to this one and the biggest problem i found was that it was quite difficult to not forget basically so this is the north frame here so that's the north reset frame and then this one is the north frame so i'll just show you what i mean if i pulse that the entire oh, platform fell off. oh sorry the entire <laughs> sorry. platform pl platform bloody hell, platform shifts itself north so then we've got to go and go to the north reset and pulse that one and that moves the frame back so you can see how the principle works broken down into a much slower stage now if i just press the north m what you should hopefully see uh, i'd advise not standing on it this time danny is it moves north and then it resets so that handles automatically now there is more reasons to that than what i've already said but for now we'll just leave it as that's the only reasoning yeah, there's also another reason why it goes through circuits. So that's yeah, that's what I mean. Possibly later video. Yeah, it, that's what I was on about. There is a second reason behind it, but it doesn't matter for now. If you're just building a quarry to operate, then you don't need to worry about the other reason. So, oh, hey, oh what have I? Oh, have I put the wrong? Oh no, no, I, don't, I did put south on. I did put the right frequencies on. Never mind. Uh, south reset goes on that. So now, if we just do a quick test. I'll just use South M this time. I'll not bother. Um, so here, everything moves south, and then the frame resets itself. So you can see that North and South now completely work. So all that's left to do now for full um, directional movement is to put the West and the East functions on. Now, the west and the east are going to go on this side. However, it actually is quite important which way around you put them. So I'm going to pause the video and quickly go and check my single player build of this to just make sure that I get them the right way around. So we shall be back in a very short while. All right, so I've just checked it up. So um, I've worked it out that it moves west from there and east from the other corner, but the east one is slightly more complicated for reasons you'll understand once I get to that stage. Like when I build that, you, you'll you'll see. So for this one, uh, basically it works in exactly the same way as any of the other ones do. Um, that wants to be like that. 
So now that's going to obviously pull the quarry that way, which is west. So then this thing here is going to reset it that way. Yeah. All right. Uh, can I have some uh, receivers? Plunking down, Dan. You've got. Oh, them. Sure. I ain't got any on me. You've got them on you, I'm guessing. So. Did have. I've got another. Right. Um. So this is the west movement. So. That makes it go west. And. That's the west reset. And then it's. Let me just get my head around this. Yeah, it's from... No, wait, no, no. I think I did this one a little differently. I think with this one... No. How did I do it? I can't remember now. No, no, no. Silly me. Yeah, it, yeah, it goes exactly the same way as the other ones do. It comes over the reset and bat box and then drops down onto the thing. Now, Danny was querying why there's a gap he, he was sort of saying, why don't it just run it straight across the top of the bat box? And the reason No, no, that, no, I wasn't. I was saying, oh, why not tuck it further in? Because well, you don't really need this bit. Well, anyway, either or, whatever he was meaning by it, the general answer for anyone who was wondering is because of the way the power cables come in to power all the different bits. It, you'll, you'll see when it gets there. You'll understand why when it gets to that bit. It leaves space for the blue electric power to get to the battery box. Pretty much, yes, in a nutshell. So, I'll just quickly test it. So, it all moves west fine. And then just because I like to make sure that we don't suddenly think, oh Christ, why isn't it working? I'm just going to check north and south again, make sure everything still functions. Alright, so that's north all good. Um, I'd recommend anyone who's following the build, you test it in this exact same manner. Um, yeah, as you add another set yeah, of frame motors, test it. Purely because if you mess even one frame up, potentially something will get left behind. And if you wait until you've piled the whole thing up, you're not really going to notice something's been left behind. Never mind notice what precisely it is. You know, it's... Yeah. It's much better to test as you go. So... Then there's the east movement. Now, to move it east is slightly different because, let me just get my head around this now, if I want it to go east, it's going to have to push everything that way, which means that the frame to push it is going to end up one block west of it. So the only place it can go is there and there, and then because of the way I did it, I put a bat box there. Because obviously this one here has to be a cover. And it does work. This is how I did make it in the end. It took me quite a while actually to sort of come to the conclusion of how I was going to make this particular bit behave. Um, so to make it all go east... Actually, I think that arrow is pointing... Yeah, that arrow is pointing the right way. Yeah, it is, yeah. And then, obviously, as always, you want the arrow on the front. And you want it pointing towards the frame. So, the way that you get your signals to this, one goes there, where I've just placed that panel, and then the other one actually goes there. And then, I'm just going to need to grab a bit of red alloy wire here. Uh, screwdriver, that's all, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't always work. Um, also, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this, but to rotate the face which the arrow is on, you shift right-click the frame motor, and to rotate the way it faces, you just right-click. I probably should have mentioned that at the start. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Now you know. I'll put that in the video description, so... Hopefully anyone who was confused will read that. Maybe. So, the way I did this one was I put two frames up there. Because obviously that's going to hold uh, the wire and the... Well, the panel's already held on, but that holds the wire. And then, exactly the same as before, 
I put that there. But then, purely for the fact of I like everything to look same same, I put everything like that. So it's about the same as it can get, really. Actually, don't think I did put that bit on. Can't remember. We'll find out. So, but in theory, that's everything for the East movement. I'm hoping that's everything for the East movement anyway. So this one here makes it go east, and then this one round the side makes the east reset. So in theory now, if I just press east M, I'm hoping it'll all work. Yep, it moved east, everything's happy and going. So again, I'll just test north, south, and now west as well, just so that then we know for sure. So, north looks okay to me, does it you, Dan? Yeah. Uh, south as well, should be good. I don't see yeah, any reason. That's, that's fine. Yeah. I don't see any reason why something shouldn't work here, because I'm basically copying the design from scratch. So, yeah. So, we have now all four directions, which means that it can navigate the X and, I believe, it's the Z axis, yep. isn't it? So now, we just want it to be able to navigate the y-axis. And the way you do that is in basically a very, very tight space here. And it's quite complex. So once again, I'm going to stop the video and work out how those two bits work. Because it's better than me making a mess of it repeatedly and then having to check anyway. So back in a very short All right. I think I now kind of understand how I did it. So basically put three battery boxes here and then you put a cover there frame there well frame motor there frame on top of it and a frame motor and basically the general idea is once it kind of wants to point the way I want it to point if you face that up it will pull all of it up. Yeah, you need to spin the other one around as well. Yeah, I'm just looking. I think something might be a little bit out of line here later on, but we'll see. Uh, so this one wants to face like that. So now it'll pull the platform up and then it'll end up there and then that one will pull it down. So then need to put panel panel mm, that bit's definitely definitely not meant to be there and I believe that bit's not meant to be there either in order for everything to actually work in the end. So... Oh, what? I did not tell it right. Okay. I think... That's how everything goes. Yeah, you need a cover on the inside of here. Where? Oops. Well, on that one that I just broke by accident. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's stop it sticking, isn't it? My admin roll calls. I need to hop into another room a sec. Okay, yep, that's fine. Carry on without me. Buddy left your channel. Right. Uh, seeing as he's got the wireless receivers, I'll just spawn myself some in. Why not? We'll just get rid of all the spares anyway, so don't matter. So we want one on there, one on there flip them around. So that one there just a minute, I need to make sure this all connects up otherwise it won't work. Right, yeah. So that one there is up and that one's the up reset. So in theory platform up platform up are. Now, 
basically, uh, Danny's gone away with the batteries, <laughs> so I can't really put any power in there. I'll just quickly ask him. But yeah, so all being well, that should move the whole lot upwards. Oh, Danny's obviously gone admining somewhere. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'll just get us some batteries. Uh, purely for the simple fact that I want to test this and yeah it, it was a it was a bug that cost us it working so I'd say all's fair really so now if I just dispose of those batteries because I only spawned them in for their power I didn't want anything else so now in theory up M should fingers crossed Nope, didn't want to move everything up. Why did it not move everything up? Hmm. I am very confused as to why that didn't work. understand why did that not wow. maybe it doesn't like that I haven't put one there I don't know no uh, is something blocking it moving I don't know that's a slight thing I'm just gonna pause the video and work all right then that. so problem appears to now be solved I was building it in the wrong place uh, that was literally the entire issue I built it in the wrong place oh, really so in theory now when I turn it all around for that that should now drag everything up and that should push it back into its proper place. Cover goes on there. Panel goes on there. Panel goes on there. And that's more or less all there is to it because everything's grabbed onto. All you need to do is put like a loop of frames over the top so that it definitely grabs the rest of the platform and then a frame on the top of that to hold that in place when something else is moving the platform and that's kind of all there is to it in theory so I'll just put the uh, frequencies back in uh, Danny do you have any batteries? Uh, I have a couple. I'm not actually there at the moment, though. No. Alright. Have you? No, I'm on my way. Alright, okay. Uh, no, that's the reset motor. I just don't want to particularly spawn batteries in if we can avoid it, because we have the power to do it, so there's not really any need to spawn in. I'm lost. Really? I went through your portal that goes to the Red Rock Mountain. I can't find where the portal is that I came through. Oh, one minute, I'll come show you. Uh, this is where our old house used to... Wait, what? How does that work? Someone somehow moved the portal. Wait, do you just have the default portal gun? Yeah. That's why then? Uh, I'll have to sort that out. Okay. That's a bit of a pain. Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, just pop some power in those guys and let's see if it wants to behave. This should work now, I think. Or oh, if it doesn't, the issue is 
uh, yeah, frames more or less. The frames won't be in the right place if it doesn't work. But in theory, this should move the whole platform up and then reset itself. Do they all have power in? No, because you don't have a bat box next to this <laughs> frame motor, so it's not going to get any power. Not touching anything that's going to give uh, it power, is it? I knew that, yeah, I knew that. My bad. Yeah, that one goes there. I see. I see what I did there. Right. Alright, that should all work fine now anyway. Yeah, it's got power now as well. Right, so in theory now if I pulse this, everything moves up. Yep, there we go. So yeah, I just put it in the wrong place on the platform, which obviously made a lot of difference. I guess like stuff was connecting that shouldn't be and was bugging it all out. So, uh, oh, hey, oh, I think I just pulsed it again. So, I'll just try everything else again. So, east, yep. North, yep. South, yep. And west. Yep. Alright, so the final part in the puzzle is the downward. Now, downward I built here, if memory serves correctly, and basically the downward one works with I believe it's that frame there gets dragged down which pulls everything down and then this frame on top here pushes that frame back down yeah I think that's it I think that's how it works isn't it Dan Uh, yeah, pretty much. So, uh, um, what's happening? I'm just making sure that like all the frames are grabbed, like all the motors are grabbed. But I, I was thinking, like, yeah, just so I was thinking to myself, more or less. Right, okay. that should now be okay. I, I was just thinking about the fact that I couldn't grab that frame from the top because if I did, it wouldn't be able to actually pull it all down because these frames would be trying to move down onto the frame motor itself, which wouldn't allow itself to move them. In that case, then you need to put covers on all this, these two faces here. They don't. Do. Uh... You do, otherwise when this one tries to move it back down it won't be able to. I'm pretty sure it can though, because I didn't put covers on this one over here either. At this side. And then you affected. should do. It does. When covers are touching the sides of frames like that, it does. Shouldn't do though, because it... Mm, uh, I guess I'll put them in then, but it moved back alright on its own accord last time anyway, but... When I tested it, but if we put them in then we know that won't cause a problem, I suppose. I don't think I actually put them in on any of the other designs, thinking about it. Hmm. So, I don't know. I guess I just assumed it was all working, so there wasn't a problem. I'd put them in just for the benefit of the well, doubt. Well, fair enough, yeah. To be honest, I never noticed that they were needed, and because it didn't cause an issue, I never spotted the fact that there probably should have been covers there. Uh, do you have any power for this? I've already got power. Oh, have you powered it already? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, I'm just thinking now, that lot all wants to just be built up at the back as well, in theory. So, all being well, this should move it down, and we should be good. Right, so it moves down... I suppose I should just check everything else as well, just to be certain, although I'm pretty certain yeah, it will work it, fine. It, it should be fine, you don't need to go through all of them, it's yeah. kind of well, time consuming. To be honest, East still works, so I'm just voting that if East works, it all works. 
Try the up once. Oh, up, yeah, that could. I suppose that does make sense, actually, that if anything doesn't work, it'd be up. Cool. Alright then. So, that now all works. So, basically now, this height is the top, effectively. Uh, don't think I put those ones in on my initial design. Pretty sure I left it all something like this. Uh, I remember thinking it was a funny looking shape. Can't remember what I remember thinking it looked like, but yeah, looked like something. Uh. Ah, yeah, that's how the original one I built looked. Uh, awesome. Were they there? Can't remember. Anyway, uh, so the next thing is, of course, it needs power to it all. So I'm just going to kind of pause the video one last time and look how power goes to it all. <laughs> 